the sun is an enormous energy source. It impacts both the physical and biological world, with its core fusing over 4 million tons of matter into energy every second. But behind the heat and the light it provides, there are also some unusual and potentially dangerous effects the sun can produce. Although it may seem like a constant out in space, it actually goes through cycles, once every 11 years or so, of greater activity and lesser activity. When all of this, uh, these, this activity affects Earth, we call it space weather. The sun's powerful and volatile magnetic fields drive space weather and can produce immense solar storms. But do these storms impact our planet? And what, if anything, is the impact on us? Solar storm, or a, a coronal mass ejection, is basically an immense cloud of magnetically charged gas traveling through space. And they blast out with a massive amount of energy. Uh, and if they're directed at Earth and they pass by us, they can have a number of effects. Geomagnetic five storms are considered to be the most powerful. They can disrupt long range radio communications, shut down satellite systems, and cause electrical grid spikes. However, if history is any indication of the power of solar storms, temporary power outages could be the least of our worries. In the 1800s, a solar storm erupted that caused an electric magnetic disaster at the time. Referred to as the Carrington event, it was the first major geomagnetic storm ever recorded. They didn't have our technology at the time, they did have telegraph networks. And these telegraph networks were affected by those oscillating magnetic fields during the ge geomagnetic storm. So currents were induced on these lines that shocked operators, that caused uh, telegraph poles to spark, and actually caused fires in some telegraph centers. Many other powerful solar storms have occurred since, but because of their trajectory or direction, they haven't had a strong impact on Earth. However, some have had an indirect impact on the space technology and infrastructure that we have placed outside of our atmosphere. In January 2005, the International Space Station suffered electrical damage when a solar storm erupted. In February 2022, SpaceX, Elon Musk's company, lost dozens of its satellites right after they were launched. A solar storm caused an atmospheric drag on the satellites, knocking them off course and sending them back to Earth, where they burned up upon re-entry. So what does this all mean? And are we heading for an impending disaster at the hands of such a random occurrence? If we saw a Carrington-level event in now in the 21st century, it would cause devastating effects all throughout the world. It would not only cause blackouts, but it would actually d damage the system enough that it could cause that blackout to last for days, weeks, months, possibly in some places even years. The risk of a solar explosion hitting Earth directly is minimal. That doesn't mean it should be ignored. And there has been a lot of activity lately that have given scientists a reason to look skyward. These possible scenarios should give us some pause to reflect on our complex and ever-changing solar system and the potential dangers that exist outside our world. We need to start thinking about what measures we can proactively take to limit our reliance on such a fragile and vulnerable infrastructure. Very pretty out here.